good morning morning and I just realized that I've changed my whole setup around my bed is now behind me but well, I used to always be behind me but I used to be this way so my room's this way so the bed is now this way but I used to be that way if that makes sense <laughs> yeah so I've literally got about this much gap behind me on my desk chair but it does also mean I have like so much more room on like that side but now the salt lamp's not there it's there weird anyway that's, uh today is tuesday and it's going to be a hella productive day because i went on a run this morning like me run i went on one <sighs> but it actually like i did feel like i was gonna die not gonna lie <laughs> but i did a four i keep saying four mile run i would honestly die if i did four mile run i did a 4k run in like 25 minutes which is my personal best and I put it on Strava and all that stuff and I hit five personal bests which is good but it's currently like nearly lunchtime and I've not done work so I'm gonna try to work my aim for today is if I can get this out from underneath the desk is to paint this so I put a poll up on Instagram um, asking what colors I should do it was either yellow or green and I think I think I'm gonna go with yellow I'm gonna do a couple of sketches like concept sketches see what color I like best but the majority of the votes were yellow so I might as well do yellow because everyone likes yellow so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna finish all of this I've got like a couple of paintings here I need to finish I've got a couple of pieces here, I've started like three pages in my sketchbook, I've started like four pages in this sketchbook, I've been on a mad one doing loads and loads of work. Oh, one thing I did do, I've kind of trapped myself now on the skateboard, but I, um, I'll post a little photo here of like the composition, but I did, where is this, it's in here somewhere, so I did this piece somewhere in here is it this piece right bear with oh i did here we go i did this piece and i really liked it and i like the blue and the yellow so i brought a small little frame <laughs> and then i did a bigger version of it which is these so it looks cool so it's like both of them like matchy matchy but i had like a semi meltdown yesterday also because basically i was trying to take a photo of this and I've got some little contact hooks on the wall so basically I can just hang like the picture frame up when I'm taking product photos and I hung it up and I dropped it and I had a cup of tea here and the cup of tea went all over my desk and my desk has like two holes in either side and it went all through the hole all down to my trolley and covered like three pieces of my work and yeah luckily there were pieces that I weren't really I wasn't really sentimental about like so it's alright we move we make more art but yeah so i did that and i also because i've got loads and loads of random frames around the flat and stuff i put but obviously look makeshift because the frames always break because i'm just impatient but i've put one of lee's postcards in it and it is so freaking adorable i love it so yeah and then i've got another frame here which has like some of my old uni work in mm. So I did these pieces for uni ages ago, like I say ages ago, nearly like three, four years ago, but I just kept the frames so I can reuse them for something. So I'm going to try put some work in it and see if I like it and stuff, slash, yeah, that's it. Also, I've got some exciting news, basically, one of my um, good friends called Izzy, uh, who I went to uni with. Well, I wasn't in her group, but like, we met at uni. Uh, she also does art and stuff and has like a Instagram page where she makes weaves and stuff. I'll leave it linked here and some little photos will work. But she sent me a link to this um, submission place and it's in Oxford, it's like a gallery. And basically you can submit like three pieces and if they like your work, they'll like select one of your pieces to then feature in their gallery. And I submitted some work and they want to feature one of my pieces in. I had a, I had a piece. But then I sold the original on that day. Like I sold the original in the morning and then later I got a confirmation being like, we've selected this piece. So I just made it bigger. 
I haven't taken the tape off yet, but I just put it in the frame to see how it would look. But this is like the piece. Sorry about the reflection, but you can can you tell I'm excited? But I'll leave a little photo here of what the actual like what it is. But yeah, I changed some of the colours though because I wanted the green to be a little bit more vibrant in this one because obviously people are going to see it in person. But yeah, so that's exciting. That's happening. But yeah, hope you're having a good morning so far, and I will carry on with the video and. See you in a bit. <laughs>
currently Monday. Um, I was supposed to upload this video yesterday, but I didn't have enough footage. So I went on a little chat shop journey and I brought some picture frames and stuff so I could show you all the things I got. Um, so I got all of these for about like 7 70 in the end. And so I brought this one. And I'm thinking of painting it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to paint any of the frames, but I've like put a poll up and loads of people said to paint some of the frames. Um, and I've got this one. Well, these two. But I put Lee's postcard in it. It was originally in a white frame, but I used the white frame to take some Instagram photos of another painting of mine. So I just switched out to see what that would look like in there. Although I, I prefer that um, her postcard in a white frame, so I'm going to change it. And then I brought these two big ones as well. So I've got this one. I'm probably going to put a massive like plant painting in it. Also, you can see myself. That's my friend. Um, yeah, you, I'm probably going to put like a massive plant painting in it. Oh. And then I've got this like huge one as well. This is the one where everyone said I should paint white, but I don't know if I want to paint it just because I kind of like the colours. So we'll see whether there's that one. And I also have these two old frames for my uni when I had to like display work and stuff. And I, it's like makeshift, so I've literally had to like sell it, take the back because they're broken. But I made these pieces, like these two paintings, and they actually look so good in the frame. So this is the first one. So I've got this one, and I've got this one. And they're like so colourful. Someone said I should pay, spray paint this frame hot pink, which is actually like, that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I picked up today. And I'm probably just gonna like chill out today because I've been working so much recently. And that's why I wasn't able to film that much content. But um, I'm doing a sketchbook tour next. So that's going to be a little bit easier for me to film. And it'll probably be a little bit easier to edit because it's more like real time. And I've also, sorry, I'm saying and so much, sorry. Um, but I've also started painting a ukulele. So I'm busy doing like all the last coats and stuff. The front needs a couple more coats because you can still see the colour. But yeah. So I can't wait to finish this and I don't know what I'm going to paint on yet. So we'll see. But yeah, it's probably this is not going to be in this video because I still need to like loads more coats. But you'll see it in the next couple of videos. Probably in like the, not ne this week, but next week. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, hope you're having a good day. Hey, hey. It's Voice of Damien back again. Um, and basically, in these last couple of clips I'm basically just like peeling off the tape for one of my final pieces that is going to be displayed in the Oxford Gallery at the Jam Factory Whoop. which is actually like really cool and exciting so this is me framing it I didn't want to get a professionally framed mainly because that's way too expensive and I'd rather do it myself and there's also like a submission fee so I didn't want to spend too much money on framing so I just brought the frame from Wilco which you can't tell because I removed all the labels <laughs> but um, yeah and then I just peeled the tape off and then I usually secure it with like two small pieces of tape at the bottom and then I just like overlay the like framing piece on top and then I just put it in the frame You'd probably have to Google it or ask a specialist because I'm just winging it at the moment. <laughs> it looks pretty central to me, like central to me when I frame it. But yeah, I also have to hand deliver it, which is exciting. So <gasps> I can't wait for that. Plus, that means I get to meet like other people who have also been like, well, who are partaking in the um, exhibition. Obviously, I don't know how the meeting and stuff will be because we also have to wear masks and social distance and everything. But it's still such a cool and like amazing opportunity so I'm really excited for that but yeah so feel free to put music on or whatever or just like chill out or listen to the music I've got over this while you watch me frame the piece but yeah enjoy the rest of your day bye <laughs>
believe it or not, it is a little bit later on in the day. Um, and it's actually Sunday. <laughs> it's my day off. Um, but yesterday I hit 5k over on Instagram, which is mad. I actually can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's like a milestone. I only thought I was going to, like, my goal this year was to hit at least just like 1,500. No, I've literally hit 5,000 followers. So thank you so much for all the love and support. Sorry that this video has been very short. I've been insanely busy with work now that they're back open. Um, but yeah, but more content will be coming because I have a couple more days off and I'm working less in the daytime, whereas I've just been doing like 11 hour shifts recently. <laughs> but yeah, so thank you so much and for all the love and support. Hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll be back next week with a sketchbook tour but like a art one from school, so we'll see. But yeah, hope you enjoy it. I shall see you later. Bye.